Hey besties and thank you so much for joining me in today's video and welcome if you're new here. My name is Lindsay and I put out a bunch of beauty content on my channel so I would love it if you considered subscribing and becoming a part of our community. In today's video we are going to be doing a second Sephora haul. You guys I just could not help myself. To be, f ooh, to be fair, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. What actually happened was my grandma was in Orlando and she was in a Sephora. She was near a Sephora. And so I had said, oh, if I make an online order, do you think you'd go pick it up? I forgot a few things because I had forgot to get my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder or sorry, not my airbrush powder. My air I'm literally going like this and saying powder. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just all over the place today. But my airbrush spray and the point is I asked her if she could just get that. And then one other thing that wasn't in stock when I went into the store, which I think was you, you guys will see it. She was only supposed to leave with two or three items in the bag and she left with with, let's just say more than that and the total of this video is more than the initial by I think a hundred dollars so we're looking at maybe four I'll put it on the thumbnail I really don't want to talk about it I don't want to think about it I just want to forget about it and be happy with the items that we got on a sale because I'm a rouge so you know it's better anyways moving on moving on moving on starting with the first item by the way if you're interested in any of the products in this video I will list that all down below if you're interested in my face makeup same thing and my scent of the day is actually the Jo Malone Sakura Cherry Blossom Cologne which I will do a full review video on starting with our first fragrance it's the Juliet has a gun lust for sun and this is the big bottle I did want the 1.7 fluid ounce but they didn't have that one in stock which makes sense it is a new fragrance and usually the newer fragrances they are low on stock because everybody has been waiting to get them on a discount isn't this so cute I love that or at least it was until I just broke it but if you are having this delivered to you I think that is really great now I will say this is not a fragrance I meant to actually pick up you're like Lindsay what do you mean well my grandma was in the store she did the pickup order and I said hey I really wanted this fragrance as well and I totally forgot about it would you mind just giving it a sniff and letting me know like what are the vibes she smelled it. She said she smelled a lot of floral, which I do smell in this, like white florals. And also it's just super beachy, coconutty, and that is what this is. I am so excited to have it in my collection. I will do a review video for you guys. And first of all, I love, love, love the bottle. It is so freaking pretty. It makes me very happy for spring and summer. I feel like this, when I do smell it, I get beachy vibes. I feel like I am on a summer vacation. I am definitely going to be taking this one on the cruise with me in August. You already know. For some reason, when I smell this, I just envision myself tanning on the beach with my my friends life is good I might have had a few shots and everything is just really fun next up is another great perfume I feel like for the spring and summer months this one to me smells more luxury I get more like I'm on a yacht wearing all white I'm wearing like really expensive shades that's what this one kind of gives me and if you didn't already guess it it's Tom Ford Soleil Blanc I've wanted this one for a while now and I finally got it with the sale unfortunately it is so small for how much it is but I think I saved like $40 on it with this sale and I just really wanted it this year and so I got it it just smells so good you guys it smells amazing I want to spray this on my skin but I'm trying to save it for when I go out in special occasion but I think again this one is definitely going with me on the cruise I'm gonna try to wear like a all-white outfit I think it's gonna be so cute but yeah to me this one for summer is just a must my only thing is I hope it does last long on the skin for the price point that's the thing about tom ford i've heard like the fragrances are very expensive and so yummy like they smell so good but i'm like is it gonna last for my dollar i need to know so i'll keep you guys updated with that but i'm very excited about this perfume even though she is a little tiny one i'm curious to see how long it'll also last in my collection then i got dossier U, which i've heard a lot of people talk about this one to me when I first did smell it I'm not gonna lie I was like mm. I was like this is what the hype is about I can't even lie to you guys but the more I smell it 
and let it dry down the more I end up liking it I do feel like it is a very clean kind of like your skin but better kind of scent but when I first initially did spray it something in there was not working for me I'm not sure if it was the iris or what but I do think it is a nice fragrance is it very long lasting we'll have to see about that it is a very affordable perfume in comparison to all the other ones but I just don't know how it's going to perform yet I do like the bottle a lot and the smell to me is nice and the third fragrance I picked up is actually a travel size. This one is the Kaoli Eden Juicy Apple 01. I do have some regret about not getting the bigger bottle just because I'm like, once this runs out, I'm going to really miss it. And I have heard people say this one does give kind of like body mist. And you know what? I can kind of understand that. But to me, if it does last longer than a body mist, it is worth it. And I do have high hopes, but at the same time, I know the Kaoli house, it does tend to not be the most long lasting. I hope though that it is because this is so juicy and plump and just delicious. It's so scrumptious. I do feel like it smells like berries. It smells like juicy apple it just smells really great you guys so i hope it does last long i put it on last night because i just couldn't help myself and you guys i was in love i really was i love the notes in here as well i'm talking so much about each thing i'm sorry i hope you guys don't mind i'm just really excited but anyway i am very happy to have this out of all of them i feel like this one to me is probably the most like easy reach and i think it's also going to mix really well with my other fragrances glossier you might also be an easy reach I just have to use it a little bit more but on first impression this one to me is going to be so great for mixing and just for day to day and just when I want to smell like a treat so those were all of my fragrances I also picked this up because for the last I want to say two or three VIB sales I have put it off so I thought you know what Lindsay I just did something really cool I think last month which I was super proud of and I figured I wanted to treat myself so this is the Dior Backstage Universal Face Palette. It's the Illuminating Face Palette. And this is what she looks like. You guys have probably saw this on so many other people's videos before. But I just wanted to have it. The only thing is I hope I can get this shade right here to work for me. It is like a bronzy glowy product. But maybe it will appear very beautiful and flattering on the face I just don't know yet but the colors are gorgeous I feel like people have said it's really beautiful on the eyes and also on the face so I'm so excited to try that out for myself and to just have it even holding it in my hand I'm like oh, I've wanted it for so long hopefully I do think it's worth it because it was kind of pricey as Dior tends to be and then last but not least oh no it's not okay and then we also have the summer Fridays lip butter balm and this one is in the shade Terry, I think this one is so gorgeous. You guys know I love the lip butter balms. And in my Sephora VIB recommendation video, I did say I was super excited to get this. Um, well, not this one specifically, but just another shade of it because I really wanted one for summer. And I think this one is just so pretty for the whole year. It also has this smell to it that I cannot put my finger on. If you've smelled this, what does it smell like to you? It's something I'd honestly like to wear like on my whole body and more than anything eat because it smells pretty dang delicious. So yeah, this one just ticks all of my boxes. It has really great pigmentation for what it is and for how it feels on the lips and it smells great, which is an added bonus. So to me, I want to get like all of these. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So not only did I restock on the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Spray, I also have another perfume to share with you, which was all the way over there because I wore it yesterday. I am so excited to share it with you guys. So quickly, I'm just going to show you. It's just a restock, you guys. Y'all know this makes your makeup last all day. So I did pick it up. And the last perfume I have to share is from the brand Rosie Jane. I've never tried anything from this brand before. And it's called Dolce. And the reason I got it is because I've really been wanting more fragrances that have chocolate in them. Them. I pick up on so much vanilla in this fragrance. It is insane. This is definitely very gourmand. 
It does have wood in it. I'm not sure what type as well, which I do think helps make it more sophisticated and complex and really just grounds the fragrance and probably makes it last longer if this is long lasting. I really hope I'm crossing my fingers, but yeah, you guys, I can't believe I forgot to mention this one. This again is Dolce by Rosie Jane. Rosie Jane. So yeah, that was my second Sephora haul, making sure I didn't forget anything. Let me double check my receipt. I also got this little Amika overnight hydration treatment, which was like a nice free gift. Nice when you're spending that much money, they give you a little... A little something, you know. So yeah, that was my full haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good things if you did enjoy this haul. And also comment down below if you have shopped the sale yet or if you do plan to soon what you're going to get or what you already have shopped. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully I don't make another order. I just love beauty so much. I also have been loving fragrance so much and I really am trying to expand my collection as quickly as possible. So yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!